Okay, here we go. So yeah, uh, let me do a lightning quick uh, run through to the through the AI stuff I did related to Big Blue Button, and this was more like an exploration of what can we do with uh, a little bit of evaluation of technologies we have right now and we could, could use right now, more than building something actually into into Big Blue Button. So yeah, let's take a look at at a few of these things. Um, and uh, looking at the main idea, uh, so um, Fred and I talked a little bit at the beginning of this, this uh, summit and, and thought, hey, here, what can we do? Uh, we have a very good uh, speech to text uh, tools available right now. Uh, we are already uh, connecting VOSC to Big Blue Button for live transcription, um, but we can actually do a little bit more with newest things like uh, Whisper. So this is something uh, I wanted to take a look at, um, not only for live transcription, but also for uh, having a transcript of what a meeting was about at the end uh, through the recordings. Um, and then based on uh, this, uh, there are a few ideas of what could we do with uh, playing around with large language models and stuff like that. So you could do summaries, you could do questions about the content and, and things like that. Um, and so, yeah, let's, let's take a look at that. Um, first of all, there are a few additional thoughts here. Uh, one is uh, that, sure, we have some technology right now. Um, but over time, we expect things to become a little bit faster. So uh, if we can barely run it today, hopefully we can uh, actually properly run it in, in a year or two. So this is one thing. Um, but still, uh, running this uh, should be kind of easy and, and we would like to avoid specialized hardware. So if you have a lot of NVIDIA H100 uh, GPUs, that's that's great for you. Uh, not everyone has that. So um, I've kind of uh, limited myself to, okay, what, what can we do with something that can be easily run on CPUs or stuff like this so that you can just uh, take kind of any decent server and use it as basis. So let's take a look at transcription first. Um, what we uh, did take a look at is uh, two Whisper projects. There are lots of Whisper projects out there. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, one was uh, Whisper C Translate, uh, which works very well. Um, it's easy to use. Um, it's also performing relatively way, uh, well, and uh, you can also do a direct translation into English. So. Um, if if I switch to German and uh, we would have some international students, for example, they could get a transcript in, in English for that. Um, so this was one of the options uh, we did take a look at. And the other option was um, Whisper CPP. Uh, again, works very well on, um, on CPUs. Uh, it's a little bit more tricky to build, but uh, that shouldn't be a real problem. On the other hand, it seemed a little bit more stable uh, when we included the C Translate one. Uh, we ran into a few problems with uh, starting this from another project. Um, so, yeah, uh, looking at performance, um, and here we used uh, different uh, transcription models. Um, so, um, the value of one here on, on the y-axis means uh, that you are basically uh, doing this in real time. So this is uh, basically the percentage of time compared to the uh, recording. And so on a single core CPU uh, with a large model, yeah, sure, you would be a little bit slower uh, than uh, real time. But uh, even with a medium model, you get around real time and uh, it gets faster than that and pretty much faster than that. Uh, so you can do that on a pure CPU basis relatively easily with, with normal hardware. And that's good to know uh, because that means we can just uh, spin up another server uh, which or even have this on a big blue button server and, and it would work. Um, so yeah, that, that's good to know. Uh, we also need to take a quick look into uh, live transcriptions. I don't know, Jenny Mo, if you will do uh, a talk about that later. 
Um, but essentially, the most important part is there are some options based on Whisper, uh, which are better than Wasp, we hope, uh, and we should definitely also take a look at that. Uh, so we have better live transcriptions, uh, and automatic live transcription, that is. Um, here's an example uh, for uh, for something where we did do the um, uh, the transcription, and uh, all the examples are from the Big Blue Button world from this year, um, from the keynote uh, from Fred uh, in this case, um, and yeah, you, you can just read it. So it's it's actually pretty decent transcription, um, and if you. Uh, I've linked the, the full transcription and, and all the files in the, um, uh, in the slides and, uh, um, and the slides are linked from the HackMD file. So if you are interested in that, uh, take a look at that. Um, I'm not going through everything here uh, on, on the slides. Um, and in fact, if you, if you want, uh, there's even the full list of all the transcriptions from BBB World um 2023 day one so uh they're all files in different formats and, and so on so you can just um, go here and yeah uh, have a very long list of files to explore um so going back uh another thing then what we did was to see if we can just take this transcription and do something with that um and that was basically throwing this into local large language models you can easily deploy, which are uh, kind of uh, built for, for self-hosting. Um, obviously, uh, you could also pay for OpenAI's um, JetGPT API right now, that would work. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we did the self-hosting road um, to, to limit costs and see what we can do here. Um, we did our tests on, based on uh, Olama, which uh, some people describe a little bit like the docker of a large language model, so you can easily spin up a model, and uh, for the examples, we use Llama 2. Um, and then basically said, okay, use this text as an input, that was a transcript, and then ask a few questions or interacted with, uh, with that. Um, and to give you a few uh, examples uh, for, for performance, um, doing this on CPO only right now is really slow. Um, so that's not something we want to do uh, live right now. Uh, it's something that you can still do for the recordings uh, that would actually work. Um, but right now, if, if you want to have a live question, for example, generated, um, it's really something you want to do on, on GPUs. Um, but hopefully, as I mentioned earlier, this will become faster in the future uh, even on CPU, so let's let's see, or maybe the GPUs are more uh, available. That's the alternative. So um, yeah, for for a few examples here. So uh, we were asking uh, for the topic of this uh, session, um, and again, this is uh, from Fred's keynote session, uh, where it will actually tell me it's a very decent thing and, and say. Um, uh, yeah, um, it, it would tell us a very decent thing, tell us about uh, the topic, uh, but you can also do other things like summary. This would obviously be a little bit longer. Um, but again, uh, if you're interested, you get the full uh, summary uh, linked here um, with timings. How long did it take to generate if you're interested? Um, and then you could also do something like this. So say, uh, can you give me a question? Uh, about this and, and questions that I should be able to answer when I uh, heard about this. And obviously you can also say, give me four questions and then uh, as a lecturer, pick one and say, okay, that's a good one for my students uh, and that's that a little bit. So there are pretty cool things to, uh, you can do with this. Um, and it's something that we can definitely uh, extend bit blue button with in the future. Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Um, again, this is was well, more a little bit of an exploration, less than uh, building things in there right now. Um, but it, I think it shows you uh, what Fred said earlier, that uh, you can do pretty cool things with it. Uh, and we should definitely uh, investigate further and uh, for a few things like 
building this into the recording stack right now, uh, that would be very doable again right now. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, if you're interested in, in this, so this is a link for the uh, presentation I've shown you right now. Uh, all the links are in here to the full transcript, to the commands I've been using. Um, and yeah, if, if you're interested, uh, go there and, and play around with stuff. Also, if you have any questions, uh, I'm available in Matrix, so just, uh, yeah, ask questions. Okay, uh, who's next?